It was the biggest mistake I made in my coaching career was leaving out a, a captain that uh, made the other people in the team feel better about themselves and uh, and also made them play better. So um, that was a huge error, and I think very few other coaches after me have made that mistake. Uh, John Smith captained uh, two World Cups, and uh, and a great captain that he is. Um, uh, the, the, the coaches realised the importance that he has to the team, and exactly the same applies to Sia. Um, I think that he was quite young when 2019 team, quite young and inexperienced, but his ex but his relationship, rather, with the coaching staff and with Rusty in particular was so close that um, it contributed to uh, to a really fine performance by South Africa in 2019 and us winning the championship, so uh, winning the World Cup, rather. So going into this one, it's exactly the same thing. We need to bring uh, Sia with us. Uh, he's already three weeks ahead of his um, of where he should be in terms of, of uh, his recovery okay. from from his knee injury, and I think he's going to. I think he's going to be fine. I just hope that he can play maybe 40 minutes, um, uh, 40 minutes twice maybe before the the, the game against Ireland. Um, if he's able to do that, then we're really in the pound seats because um, he he has so much respect. Uh, not only from his own players, but also from the opposition and, and particularly the referees. There are two issues here. First of all, we won the Lions series and we know well uh, about the the, um, the video that went out from Rusty criticizing the referee uh. in the first test. And um, there were re repercussions. We uh, Rusty had to, uh, took a nine-month yeah. ban. Um, uh, but but we won the second test and we were far better refereed in that second test. And we and we managed to win the series by winning the third test. Um, now, I, I've, just, I've just got a slight feeling over the last uh, uh, sort of 12 months Looking at the way that South Africa gets refereed, I'm not absolutely certain that that, uh, and, and I don't want to squeal about um, you know bias or anything like that. But just if there's a 50-50 call, it doesn't seem to go our way. Mm. So I, I think what's going to be really important going into this World Cup is the relationship that the captain can have with the referee on the field, and also obviously Jacques Nienaba is a is a, is the head coach, and uh, the way in which they approach the referees before each game, and also the way they approach them after the game with with any errors that they feel that the, the, the referee might have made is very very important because it can take just one decision in, a, in games that are so tight i mean most a lot of our games are going to be decided by one score i think you know no, no more than seven points and uh, if a referee decides uh, you know to be a little bit tougher on you than the opposition that can be enough uh, to, to knock us out of the competition. So we're, we're very lucky to have Sia. As I've said before, his, um, he's got great uh, respect uh, with regard to the way he leads. He's, he doesn't get emotional. He talks in a very um, calm and measured way to the, to the referees. And I know they, they like dealing with him as a captain. So that's a big advantage.